Hello everyone, my name is Andrea. If you don't know me, you should subscribe, but today I'm going to be doing a very fun video. Finally, I'm going to be doing a book haul. I have so many books and so many things to show you because this is like my birthday book haul slash just like other stuff I got for my birthday. Um, and I've been like holding all this stuff, I need to put it up, and so I'm finally going to be filming this. First, I'll show you guys the books I got, and then at the end, I'll show other random things I got from my birthday and other things I got on my trip to New York. Just in case anybody wants to see that, or if you don't care, you can just watch the book portion. But sorry, also, if you hear my dog, he's playing with a toy. He's been moving my camera, moving the light, squeaking his toy. I, I can't make him stop, so he's having a good time. First, I'll start with some books that I actually got for my birthday from other people. So the first book I will show y'all is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one was gifted to me from my friend Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. I love you. But I have read Taylor Jenkins Reid's book, The Daisy Jones and the Six. That's the only one I've read by her, but I'm very intrigued with this one, and I do want to read some of her other books, like Malibu Rising, and she has like a lot of books, but I want to get into some of the other other ones this is a gorgeous hardcover copy so I'm really happy that I got it and I was surprised because I haven't actually ever put this one on a wish list or anything but Gabby she's like a reader as well and she just saw it at the store and thought I would like it and I think I will so definitely happy about this one when I was in New York I picked up a couple books as well so I bought these for myself basically for my birthday Actually, I take that back because Gabby gave me a gift card to Strand Bookstore in New York as well when I was there. So she kind of bought me this too. But I picked up Babel by RF Kuang, which I just read The Poppy War and I really, really loved it. So I can't wait to get to this one. I definitely think RF Kuang is somebody, an author that I do like and I do vibe with. So I was so happy that I did like it because I bought this before that before I finished reading that and I was like oh no what if I hate her but I love this author so definitely this is a thick book um but I'm very excited to dive into this one whenever I get a chance to read it but I can't wait so then I bought this one um but for my birthday as well for myself it's Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone um it's the I don't know what exactly it's called the Mina Lima edition where it has like a bunch of illustrated and interactive pages and things like that um you can see on the back of here as you can see it has like different pop-outs and stuff which I think is really cool but I felt like this was a great collector's item for myself because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan so when I was at Harry Potter New York I had to pick it up. I was also given this book, The Roughest Draft by Emily Wibberly. Wibberly, okay. Um, this one was given to me by my friend Therese. Therese, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for sending me this. Um, it was on my wish list and I've been wanting this book for a while now. It is a romance that is about two writers. So I think that is very interesting to me. I don't know. I want to read it. I'm excited. I've been in like my romance era lately because I've been reading so many romances this year. I don't know why and I've definitely read my fair share of good ones and bad ones and I'm also writing a romance right now. So I guess this is just my romance era. Era, so Therese you're just contributing to that so thank you again on the way back from New York at the airport I was browsing through the bookstore and I found a book that I wanted um, they had like a really good bookstore in I think it was a Tennessee airport which was just like no it was it was the LaGuardia airport never mind yeah the LaGuardia airport it had a really uh, like good bookstore like there's a lot of sections and a lot of different books but this is the one I picked up things we never got over by Lucy score I'd seen this book a lot and I was kind of like just never gonna read it because it didn't really pique my interest I hadn't actually seen what it was about and so as I was browsing I had a lot of time waiting for my flight so I was literally like old school looking at every book that just looked interesting because the cover or a book I had maybe heard about in passing and I would just pick it up and read the back of every synopsis you know the original way to find books and I did read the back of this one and it seemed interesting to me so I picked it up and I'm actually very excited to get to it um I might read it probably soon like this month because I really want to know what goes on in this book and why so many people love it and it's rated pretty good on Goodreads so 
yeah my friend adriana gave me a gift card to the place i used to work at which is our the closest independent bookstore to where i live and i was just like this is great because i get to go back to my old job and like see my old coworker and stuff like that but i picked up beach read by emily henry only because listen i have a vendetta against emily henry because book lovers just wasn't doing it for me i don't know i couldn't get through it and i just didn't really like what i'd read so i'm kind of scared and people we meet on vacation mm -mm, not not my favorite ever i just really didn't like that book actually like i really didn't so why did i pick this up i don't know but i i just have this hope that this one is like the one it's the anomaly here it's the emily henry that andrew reads will like and i know my friend lisa read this and she really liked it so i'm like okay it was used at the bookstore it was not expensive so i was like let me give it a shot and i'm gonna and i hope i love it or this is like emily henry's last chance she's on death row for me because if i don't like this I'm never reading her books again or picking them up again. And I also just picked up this really old and not the cutest copy of Rebecca by Daphne du Maur. I know a couple people that I've seen in like people I follow on booktube and stuff that have read this in um, my coworker, my well my old coworker at the bookstore. She actually said she read it and she didn't like it that much but she said it was maybe like too thought provoking for her and she just wanted something mindless like a mindless read. But yeah, so I don't know. I do like thought-provoking books, so I'm interested to see if I like this one or what I think about it. Since my last book haul that I've done, which I don't even know when it was, probably a couple months ago, I have accumulated some other books just randomly throughout the past couple months. So I'm going to share with you guys those books as well. One of them is A Winter's Promise by, who is this even by? Christelle Davos? Davos? I don't know um so I had seen this book but I wasn't that intrigued by it and then I like read it and I think there was a deal at Barnes and Noble so I was like okay I'll give it a shot I'll buy it my friend Sarah really wanted to read it and she started it and she said it's pretty interesting and there's some like not enemies to lovers going on but there's like some rivalry going on so that's pretty interesting um she also said it kind of was reminding her of Mortal Engines which if you don't know what that book is it was a movie as well and it just wasn't a good book so i'm really hoping it's not like that but it seems like a pretty quick read um even though it's pretty thick the words are big and the margins are also large so it's probably not going to be too bad um but there are a couple others in the series so i do hope i like it and continue it also picked up the deal by l kennedy this is the first in the off-campus series it is just like a romance series that's i don't know um it's set in college so that's all i know um kind of like similar to that i got the fine print by lauren asher which again all i know is that it's a romance um but this one is about like a billionaire who hires the the main character and they have a relationship i just think that these are some pretty like smutty romance books and i guess that's what i was wanting because i also picked up this one addicted to you by krista and becca ritchie again I think all of these past three I showed you were because of TikTok or BookTok. So thank you, BookTok. I hope you don't let me down because BookTok has definitely let me down in the past. We'll see with these. I don't know. Ollie, <laughs> he's squeaking away. Okay, and so the last book I picked up was this one, Kingdom of the Fear by Carrie Maniscalco. I have read the other two and I did really enjoy them. These are kind of like my guilty pleasures. Like I secretly really love this series because I love Wrath. Hey, I just do. So I saw this at Walmart when it had just came out because it's a new recently released book. And this one has the Walmart bonus exclusive content. So I'm excited for that. And I definitely will be getting to this one soon because I keep staring at it. I just, I want to read it so bad. Now I'll show you guys some cool stuff I got for my birthday. Um, I got like some bookmarks, some random other things. So here we go. This first thing is something my husband bought me because I told him I had been wanting some of these. So he got me these. These are um, a pair of Beats headphones and they're just the black ones. 
They're just black and they're cushioned. These are the Beats Solo 3s. They have another like series of headphones that's the Studios, which are bigger, but my ears and head are not that big and I didn't want it to look like a giant thing, you know, on my head. So I wanted these and I was so happy and I've been getting so much use out of them for editing when I went on the plane, whenever I go to the gym. So I love this so much. It's like one of my favorite gifts I have received ever. Um, and then with the gift card that I mentioned my friend Gabby gave me from Strand, I got this tote. This is what it says, Strand. And on the back, it has the um, quote, if you go home with somebody and they don't have books, don't fuck them by John Waters. And I love that quote. I've seen a couple people have this bag. I feel like it is just a really cool bag and I wanted it. So got that. Thanks, Gabby. Also with that gift card, I got this bag um, from Strand as well. It's a Strand bookstore and it has like a very old timey depiction of a bookstore. This is what it looks like. How cute is that? I just love it so much. I'm so excited to use this for like pens and stuff like that whenever I am on the go, which I always had need something to carry pens because I'm always taking crap with me everywhere I go. I also have a lot of bookmarks, like not that that's surprising, but I didn't realize how many bookmarks I have been getting recently. So I'll just show y'all. Um, a couple, three of them are Harry Potter related. So let me show you those first. This one is really cool. It says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. We all know the quote, but it's kind of this brown leather and it has a gold tassel. It's really cute. That was from the independent bookstore that I used to work at that I mentioned. This one is too. It's, this one's kind of cool. It says here there be dragons and has like a bunch of dragons over a castle. I don't know. I really love that though. It's just so cute. And then I got this one from Strand. It just says Strand and it's like a leather and it has some books on it. I have a bookmark like this that um, is black and it says Ninth House. Like it's this exact material and it has these little fringy things too. So I don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting because they're like the same. But obviously I got the Ninth House one when I saw Lee Bardugo on the Ninth House tour. So that's kind of, I don't know, different. But then I got these. These are two bookmarks that look like different Hogwarts house scarves, which is just so cute. I got Gryffindor because I rep Gryffindor so hard, but I am a Slytherin. So I had to get both because I don't know. I want to be both so bad. <laughs> and I got this classic New York City one. I don't even know if you can see that. It's kind of like um, a purplish sky. Just says New York and has the skyline. It's really cool. And I decided at the Harry Potter store that I did want to go ahead and wrap Slytherin a little bit my house. So I got this really gorgeous notebook and they had every house, but I got the Slytherin one. Um, it has a green tassel in here. It's all bound up. I don't want to take it out. But these pages are just like yellowed pages. So they don't have any lines on them. And it kind of reminds me of Tom Marvolo's diary from um, Chamber of Secrets and here is the gorgeous cover this is such high quality like leather and then it has that Slytherin crest so I don't know I think this is like literally one of my favorite journals I own and another bookish item that I got for my birthday would be this sweatshirt it says Idris University it is a reference to Shadowhunters of course and my friend Sarah got it for me so I love you Sarah thanks I love the color and I've been wearing it like so much like too much for the fact that I just got it on like Saturday. But that's everything I got for my birthday and this book haul. I hope y'all enjoyed. Of course, when I accumulate more books, I will do another book haul. So make sure you subscribe, stick around for that. But that's gonna be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down a white heart if you stayed till the end of this video. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character Every tear that you cry is worth it in the